So the CANDOR trial is being presented as a late-breaking abstract uh, on Tuesday morning. This is a randomized phase three trial in relapsed uh, and refractory myeloma patients who've had one to three prior lines of treatment. The two arms of the study are daratumumab, carfilzomib, dexamethasone, and it's being compared with carfilzomib, dexamethasone. The trial design was two to one. What that means is that for every one patient who uh, was randomized to receive carfilzomib, dexamethasone, two patients were randomized to daratumumab carfilzomib dexamethasone. So the trial had uh, overall 466 patients that were enrolled uh, in that two-to-one fashion, and the study met its primary endpoint. The median age on the study was roughly 65 years. Median prior lines of treatment was about two, two prior lines of treatment. 90% of the patients had received bortezomib, I think 42% had received lenalidomide before and 33 were actually refractory to lenalidomide. What's unique about this combination or this study, it is emit-free. So there's no immunomodulatory drug in the three-drug uh, combination arm. Why is that relevant to our patient population in the U.S.? Because many patients are on lenalidomide maintenance as they're relapsing. So if you look at the six regimens that are available in the relapse refractory space right now, um, four of them contain lenalidomide. We usually can't use those regimens and, and have, you know, so for, so for len refractory patients, we, we don't have as many options as we do for patients who are lens sensitive. The median PFS on the control arm was 15 and a half months roughly, and it hasn't uh, been reached for the DKD arm. So, you know, the study also showed three drug combinations having an overall response rate that was uh, deeper. Another unique feature was the MRD negative CR rate at 12 months was 12.5% versus 1.3%. So deeper responses, what sounds like, you know, longer progression-free survival, and the study, you know, was selected for, for this uh, presentation.